Hello. Right now I've just taken my cat D to the hot um, to the bed to get his ears checked. <clears throat> I wanna to talk to you a little bit about my cat D. When I first got him, it was probably actually about the uh, year 2016, February 3rd. When I first got him he was basically very um sheltered and fearful, not exactly sure he wanted to try to meet with any new people, so with all the cats that I was fighting at the shelter at the time, he basically was the only one who was just so quiet and hidden away where the rest of the other cats were eager to try and meet. So basically I was like, okay, I'm curious to try and adopt him. So when the, um, when they tr brought him out to try to introduce to me, he basically was um, not interested in me with me at all. He's just so afraid he wants to just wander off with somewhere else. Basically I thought, He's probably one of the type of cat I know I could probably get him to love me. And when I brought him over to my apartment one time, he decided he was going to hide away up on the corner of the kitchen at the top of the cupboards. So I decided I'm just going to leave him there because I know he was afraid time for him to get adjusted. I want him to know that he could be trusted, that he's not going to get hurt. So I gave him some food. So a couple of hours later, he decided to come down and venture around and finally decided to see what I'm like. So, later on, he started to love me. And when I brought um, Kyle over to try to meet with him, he, same thing, goes up to the corner of the kitchen, afraid, not sure about strange new humans. But then, again, <clears throat> about an hour or so, he comes down and Kyle had food in his hand for him to eat. He can eat right out of his hand. Basically what I could tell from my cat B was that he will not um, be warm to any people right away, but given time he will automatically love us, love anybody who comes along and given time to be able to introduce themselves to him, he will love them too. He's basically shy, but very loving, very wonderful. He's always been so crazy. Just, he always jumped all over the place as he could, but he knows he feels safe. When we finally decided to start moving down to Arizona a couple of months ago, in January 2020, so we had to keep him inside our um, room at the time being because there was a dog in the house and we don't want to introduce them to each other because we're afraid the dog will hurt him. Or the cat will hurt him. I don't know. <laughs> but when we do let him come out to um, explore the house, we have the dog put into the uh, kennel for the time being. And so the one time he uh, finally missed the dog, who was in his kennel at the time, he freaked and ran as fast as he could. The dog started barking and of course losing his mind. Um, but we managed to get the cal dog to calm down and the cat to calm down, so... A few, uh, about a week or so ago, what scared me so badly was that... he decided to get out of the bedroom over the fence that we have installed... when the dog was still out into the uh, house. And so I was trying to get him, the dog decided, okay, I see a cat, I'm going to go chase him. I was just like screaming, no, 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 all the way up the stairs, trying to get him not to, not to hurt the cat. And of course, my dad was able to help get the dog away. Okay, back to the kennel you go for now. And so, <laughs> so now I managed to get the cat back into the apartment and he's safe, he's alright, he has not got harmed. The dog didn't touch him, thankfully. Um, right now, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything about the dog so far, but well, now the cat was able to go out, he was always too afraid to try to go out because he was certain that the dog would come dart around the corner or something, even though the dog is not there. But I can understand his fear and, like, yeah, watchfulness. Anything that like sudden happens, he will dart back to safety. So I don't blame him. I can totally understand. 
So right now, up to today, I started taking him to the bed to try to get his ears taken care of. He has the ear problem for a while, but trying to get his ear treated for a while. Nothing has worked so far, so I'm trying to see what the vet says. Sorry about that. But I'll let you guys know about things going so far. I might even tell you more about some other cats I have met in my life. So talk to you soon. Thank you very much for listening.